All right, well, let's check in now. Meteorologist Grant Gilmore, he's continuing to tweak that forecast when it comes to mm. our snow totals and what we can expect and what kind of snow, Grant. It's interesting, Natasha. This is a very different storm than what we had earlier this week, guys, because earlier this week we were talking about the rain and the really heavy snow. You remember that? Remember how wet and heavy that snow was that came through? And then it melted really quickly. This storm will be very different. It'll move through and it'll move out very quickly, but it's going to drop a lot of snow, yes, but it will be a very different type of snow, a more fluffy, light, dry snow, if you will. And let me explain that, all right? A couple of things about this storm. Weaker and faster than the storm that we had Monday night into Tuesday morning. There's going to be less moisture, so you think, oh, that's good, right? Well, less moisture and drier and rather colder conditions will make for higher snow ratios. I'll explain that term in just a second. And then there's a jet streak, so there's really fast moving winds well up above the atmosphere right on top of us and that will create more lift in the atmosphere more lift creates more condensation more precipitation and then ultimately that leads to more snow but again this system is going to be moving much faster let's talk about snow ratios okay we all know about it when it rains we get one inch of water well similarly with snow we have one inch of water available we call that precipitable water now under that given condition that constant it really depends on the temperature and the atmospheric moisture, that relative humidity for what type of snow is going to fall. Earlier this week, we had temperatures in the mid-30s when it started to small. That would give us a very wet snow. That gives us a snow ratio or a snow to liquid water ratio of about five inches to one inch of that precipitable water. Normal snow is, we say, a 10 to one ratio. 10 inches of snow to one inch of precipitable water. Meanwhile, what we're more in line with with this system is more of a 15 to 20 inch snow to one inch of that precipitable water. And that's where you get more of a fluffy snow. The snowflakes are drier. There's not water around it. Or there's not liquid around it that would cause that snowflake to condense and compress. Think about it when you have one of those, like a cup of ice. If you have that real fresh ice, that ice sits up higher in the cup, right? As it starts to melt and the ice cubes start to get a little bit more watery, that ice is condensing and it's slower in the cup. So that's, that's the difference. And I think the bigger difference for you if you're shoveling that lighter, fluffier snow is three pounds per cubic feet, whereas a wet snow, I know it's at the bottom of the screen there, hard to see, but it's 20 pounds per cubic feet. Snow weighs 20% of the same volume as liquid would, pure liquid. So that's the big difference with this. Just to break down here, we're looking at that water snow ratio there across the Philadelphia area in the suburbs there of about 15 to one. So that's why we're thinking between four to six inches of snow. I think it's a little bit drier, a little bit colder as you get into the Pocono. So it's an 18 to one snow to water ratio, but there's not as much moisture available, but still, the efficiency of the snow to accumulate will be a little bit better up into the Pocono. So still three to five inches of snow for you. It will be a wetter snow into the Jersey Shore and the Delaware beaches. So an eight, eight inch to one inch snow ratio, one to three inches there down the shore closer to the coast because it will be a little bit warmer and that snow will be wetter. So where is this thing? When does it get here? When do we start seeing those light, dry snowflakes? Likely sometime between 10 and 11 o'clock this evening. It all rolls in. This will be the intense snowfall, likely overnight between 2 to around 4 o'clock in the morning. Guys, real quick here, I want to show you the totals. We just updated these. That's why we're thinking four to six inches of snow right through the Delaware Valley, areas north and south. Getting a little bit less. Back to you.